shipping to Hong Kong. Hey, this is Mark from urelocation.com. Thank you for joining me and Julie for today's shipping segment. Without further ado, here's Julie. Shipping to Hong Kong can be challenging. That being said, with the right knowledge and preparation, it can be much less consuming and much less expensive. Many people ship or move door to door to avoid customs and port clearance. However, though doing so can be rather costly. To avoid this, it might be wiser to ship it to a warehouse in new territories where you can pick it up. Because new territories is high in population, it has more traffic, making it easier and less expensive to ship to. The documents that are usually needed to ship to Hong Kong differ depending on what you are shipping. If you are moving personal effects and or household goods, then you should think about these three forms. A packing list, a commercial invoice, and a certificate of origin. Remember when filling out the forms to enter the correct country dialing code. The country dialing code for Hong Kong is 852. You can find the link for all three below in the description. To truly save, if you have more than five boxes, Ocean shipping can be an option for you. You might save a good amount shipping to Hong Kong. The advantageous thing about shipping by ocean is that it is based on the size of your items and not so much the weight. A different way to save is to ship it to Hong Kong International Airport. Shipping or moving door to airport takes about 5 to 10 days. The cost is roughly 2 to 4 dollars per pound. To get the best service, make sure your agent is IATA certified. IATA certified agents have a rating system, thus more dependability. When shipping a car, however, door-to-door -door shipping can be awfully costly. You will find that most of the time it will be economic to ship the car only to the port, such as Hong Kong port. Make sure that the year manufactured import regulations are met. You can always double check with the consulate or embassy of Hong Kong. You should also check with the consulate or embassy if you are an expatriate moving or shipping to Hong Kong. At times, if you are an expatriate or a citizen moving back, they may have duty-free moving importing programs. Thanks, Julie. Remember to visit the below links for quotes and general shipping information. This is Mark from U Relocation signing off. Thank you and have a good day.